we went over our time limit again. I don't understand how I keep missing this, the frickin' limit, but... Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. Big Smalls. So you want to be hardcore? Put your hat to the back. Talk about your cats in your own. a competition run by your company. Yes, remember that. They called it to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very important. Mind if I take a look at that? Yeah, we'll confirm the names real quick. Do 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 do. Gallagher. What is the name of the people we're investigating? Stefan's family heater destroyed after being serviced by Matthew Ryan. Uh, the Stefans, that's what we're looking for. Here we go. Here they are, Stefans. Family of five. Collected, huh? Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. There we go. All right, interrogate Tell us about the suburban redevelopment fund. There's not much to tell. They were in promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. He's looking me in the eye. I think. So they are there we go. Government agency. He's not down himself. Don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. They do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. <laughs> They're going to be like, Ooh. There we go. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Oh. Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the suburban redevelopment fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who's won. Aha! Uh -huh. Conspiracy! No, uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. <laughs> I'll put you down for 50. I can tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you a good man, Cunningham? You're all right. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're great. Poorer, but great. <laughs> That was hilarious. They just set that guy up to spend more money than he wanted to. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Fine. Where are we going? Fine. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? No, duh. Great partners must look alike. Uh, another 18 minute video. Excellent. Well, that's a sign that I'm liking the game. I get so into the game that I forget to freaking change over the camera. I usually take about 11 minutes for each increment, but sometimes it goes over if I'm enjoying it. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the redevelopment fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. More of a conspiracy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors. New so location. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Wow. This guy is a real jerk. Even more of a jerk than my previous partner. says we should visit him in Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut. You learn something about fires. What about them? <laughs> How to start them? Like in Fahrenheit 451? I'm Guy Montag for a reason. The sand in the sieve. Like the sand in the sieve, whatever.
came as soon as we could. Not really. <laughs> the main reason Lynch. Biggs? Do you two investigate Smalls? the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? See, si, senor. Yeah. Why? I had to look around the place while I was out there. Felt something you didn't. You believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. Explosion? No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Wiring Don't looks intact. Take a look at what? What do you got for this us? This heater from the Sawyer fire out. Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. It just like the I other family. You just said you only do a facts. To prove. Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot line. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now the gas has to make contact with technical terms, buddy. To form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Boom. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. What are you talking about? Regulators in position. <laughs> okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. We'll pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Oh, snap! <laughs> so that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to instinct and you can see what they say. They're, They're up to the something, I think North so. North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. That guy looks like the Secret person from In Treatment, the old dude, Walter. <laughs> I forget the actor who plays him, but whatever. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by... Ah, shut up. You drive. Yeah, you drive because I'm lazy. Alright. Where to? You know where we're off. Oh. How stupid are these people? Show? The next fire. You should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character. Where's this guy from? This guy's voice I recognize. Those fires. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. We don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him. I recognize this guy's voice from something. Movie, TV show, video game, I don't know. It's not ringing a bell, though. Doggy! <laughs> Dog outside. View from my window. Here we are, Insta Heat. The assholes who frickin' installed those heaters. Thank you for teleporting through me. Did you see his lovely wife and children in the paper? What a rat! Insta heat. Eighty-two dollars. Holy really crap! Improved model. Are we selling these like hotcakes? Really? Do it improved, huh? Or that case. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. His name is Ray. And he's very sick. Wait a minute. Yeah, I just heard that news report right there. Freaking... I'd like to go on a cruise someday. Well, you're not going on one, sissy. Freaking keep typing on that typewriter and shut your freaking face. <laughs> oh, sissy, you are so bad. Who the hell is in charge around here? Poor guy must be going crazy. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Shut up. You're a janitor. I don't need a janitor. Alright, we got back where we were supposed to be. We 
couldn't have made that door gold so we could get through it? Nope. Oh, here we go. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take a look. Yeah, faulty one, stupid. <laughs> we have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? Really? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. We don't own it. We don't, we don't get it. Oh, it's we do get change, it. But it means the gas never closes off properly. Kaboom. <laughs> so you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've Got never em. had any problems with this heater? Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? <laughs> What's the demand? None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the, the budget end, we're still using... The... what is it? We are installing 100 heaters a week. Baby oh, boomers, yeah. that's why. Yeah, Everyone back from the war freaking getting their groove on. <laughs> Baby boomers. The diaphragm's prone to failure. They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. No, no, not at all. Sure, of course they are. Or not. You or maybe not. <laughs> mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're gas fitters. Installers, then. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. Alright, whatever. We got one right. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. Sheesh, keep your panties on. <laughs> there, around a dozen of them. The housing business is going crazy at the moment. Yeah, all the freaking baby boomers. We already know that. that. From history. You're not going to rouse that whole list. Yeah, it's kind of a I'm lot of run people. I'm going to by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. That would be helpful. Guys have any previous, sir? I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Oh, it's hot wired. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, well,